good morning. I say welcome to my channel. Just come, come. Wait, he's running. I don't know what he's running for. He don't want to be in my video, but that's quite all right. independence so I just want you guys to know welcome to my church everything that is going on here today I would let you know what's going on good morning I say welcome to my channel just come come but like he's running I don't know what he's running for he don't want to be in my video but that's quite all right so yeah so I'll just keep you updated on what will be happening at church today it's a very sunny day um, and I just want to say um, tell God thanks for everything he's done just give a shout out to God and let him know that he's an amazing God and, and that he's a God of love and we should find time to come to church and worship him at all times um, my country is Barbados and within the country the colors of the flag is yellow black and blue so over now I'll see you meeting my friends at church Hola. Say happy Sabbath. Say happy to, to my channel. Oh, okay. Happy my channel. Thank you very much. All right, you got She's such a beautiful lady, isn't she? <laughs> anyway, I'll catch up with you later on. Jackson Seven Day Adventist Church is such a, a pleasant experience. Look at the church. I'm so happy to be here. This is my friend Peter who gives me trouble at church all the time. So I just wanted to say um, happy Sabbath to my channel. Just say happy Sabbath. Say hi Peter. Bless yourself to all your sisters. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are my sisters. I just want to say happy to church. Happy for us to be here to be here this morning. And my sister said to me. Anyhow, that's enough from Peter. I don't want to get anybody in trouble. Church is going on, and I will give you some snippets from the service as I do the recording. So, see you good morning, later. church, and happy Sabbath to each and every one. All those who are watching online, we welcome you to this Sabbath school program. Before we go any further, we will now have our opening prayer by Brother Theodore Compton. Please stand, please. Bow your heads, close your eyes. Heavenly Father, we give you all the all the praise and thanks. I thank you for my I thank you for my brothers and sisters. Forgive us for our sins, protect us. I pray for our brother, our pastor Carl Dial. Please give him a com complete recovery. Cover him with your blood. I pray for my sisters and brothers in, in the church. I pray for brother and sister, brother and sister Cave. Again, I give you all the praise and glory. Please, Father, please bless this Sabbath day program today. Give you all, give all the praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, since we are studying this quarter, God's mission, my mission. Our topic today is reaching up, reaching out. And reaching up and reaching out is derived from reaching up to God first in prayer and study of his word. To be able to gain guidance, and direction equipping us to be witnesses so we are able to reach out and draw others to Christ this morning I'm at church and I'm in the vestry um, they're preparing to go up on the roster we have all as you can see everybody here is getting themselves ready to go up on the roster so I'll update you when um, everything starts but I want you to be my very good friend Diane. Hi. 
already, so we are going on the way out. They sing the song immediately. Yeah. Well, every one of you will say that you love the Lord, right? So as a result, I had three questions for you. Questions. And I want answers. How do you know that you love the Lord? I don't want how you know somebody else. I want one person or two people to tell me how you know that you love the Lord. Well, for me, All right. I know that I love the Lord because the things that I used to do before, mm -hmm. which, it was, which was not of the Lord, mm -hmm. I do them no more. Okay. I recognize that Christ died that I can have life. He, 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 he didn't have to do it, but because he loved me, he want me to be with him. Mm. He went all the way and he died that I could be with him. I know I love the Lord because okay. whenever I love the Lord, this is Utah season. I be downtown now looking for Christmas stuff. Uh -huh. So I know I love the Lord because all right. even though I love Christmas, he said, come into your Sunday church. First. On the Sabbath day. On the Sabbath day. All so that's right. the reason why I know that I love the Lord. I love you or who don't, who don't love you. It's true. Love everybody. Yeah. Love uh, God will take care of the rest. So so yeah, so Christ. I believe so that. hold on, hold on. Christ tells him God, look. Christ Christ told he, told the the, the, the the parable of the man going down to uh, get robbed. Uh, eh, 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 this, uh, uh, eh, in that parable, watch this. In that parable, the brother the, the, the he passed at the church, passed by and see the man suffering and walk by. All right. Then the first elder passed by. He did a little more. He come and look. But he gone along. All right. Then the, 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 the Samaritan, I say the good Samaritan, he, as far as the man was concerned, he was a Samaritan. He was a Samaritan. Listen, if that man could have probably get, you feel he. Based on Jewish, Jewish, Jewish um, um, prejudice, uh -huh. that man might have said, "Don't touch me." He might, I'm just conjecturing here. He might have said, "Don't touch me, the Samaritan." What is dogs? What is dogs? Don't touch me. And the Samaritan probably knew that. However, despite what the circumstances are, Sister Fredelia, I might answer your question. Despite what the Sister Fredelia. I answer your question. Despite how much the man might have hated the Samaritan, all right, the Samaritan came and did what was right to the man. Yeah. What's that saying to you? Show sure love. It, man. That does not matter how they love you or yeah. don't let you. Don't bother about them liking you. Sure bother about you loving them. Come on. Yes. Let me say that again. Don't bother about them liking you. Bother about you loving them yes. Yes. enough love. to show goodness love. toward them. God love. will take care of the rest. Yes. Uh and we just had Sabbath school and we had the lesson study and it dealt with um, who is our neighbor, who is my neighbor, who is your neighbor. And we realized that a neighbor is any person that you come in contact with. And in order for us to have a good relationship with our neighbors, we must have a good relationship with God. So I would implore you, I would advise you to make sure you have a wonderful relationship with God. So we had an item of special music by Clear Blackman. And Clear sang he'll do it again. Of course, I'm unable to record that because of copyright infringements but she did a beautiful job she always does i know it is time for our divine service as i said after church i'll try my best to meet with the younger people with the youth just to, to find out what why they love church the reason they're here and to always and to also ask them um, if it is one thing what would they change so i'll see you later on when church is finished bye bye Okay, so I decided to go to the front of the church because they were praying and I didn't want to go in the church and record. And not only that, they're also singing the prayer song which is Sweet Hour of Prayer. Even though it may be a hymn, but um, it has some copyright infringement so I was unable to go ahead and do my recording. So I was basically speaking about prayer and how 
important it is in your life and that you should always have a connection to God and I was also speaking about an experience that I had um, during the week where I felt so depressed I felt like giving up and I wanted to encourage anybody who feels like giving up not to do it that we have someone there um, whose name is Jesus and we can always go to him at any time and place our burdens on him at that point in time when I felt like giving up the Holy Spirit whispered to me don't give up I am here Jesus is there to carry your burdens for you in fact he sacrificed himself on the cross and he did it because he loved us so my advice to anybody who really wants to you know get out of depression look up when you're down the only way to look is up and you connect with God he has a hand outstretched to you you just take hold of that hand remember that he is always there he promised never to leave us or forsake us and he loves us so so much so as I finish wrapping up <laughs> my talking because I know that prayer will soon be finished then I would go back into church listening um, to the sermon that's it for me okay so I am actually coming from out of the church and I'm going walking on these steps right now you can see the trees <laughs> that was Stacy that you saw just now and the uh, so you can see okay so you can see the doors of the church okay that's the amount of stuff you can see at the church how big it is all right look at all the roofs the architecture if I go all the way back you can see how big the church is that's our church and we have a whole lot of mango trees like this one tree you can see right here and then if I go all the way around you can see another tree I'll go all the way around and there's another tree it's so big and then there's another tree all the way out there yeah so that's how grateful we have the church and then we have I think I'll go back a little bit This is our church, Jackson Sunday Baptist Church, and it goes all the way around. It's a very big church. Within the church at the top, in the children's section, at the bottom of the church, we of the children's section, there is a fellowship hall. Then there's the bathrooms, and then there is the church of itself. And this, this, this is the main entrance, and on that other side there, there are about two to three doors. And we also have another door on the other side. I can show that to you as well. Right, so on the other side, where the other people there standing up, we have about two doors there. All right, so I'm gonna go back inside of the church. I feel very grateful and blessed that I am able to bring you with me at church today. Uh, so divine service is gonna start shortly, so I'm going to, to sit down and listen <laughs> to the service. Until later, bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Nicholas, for your introduction. And I know all of you know, I love a joke. You know that? Second Timothy 1.10 tells us, Second Timothy on the board 1.10 tells us, Second Timothy Chapter 110, yes, but now it's made manifest by the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who have abolished death and have brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. So here Christ, he brought life to us by giving himself for us. We were all doomed to die. When we die, that was it. But thanks be to Christ for coming and dying for us. So that after death, we will have eternal life. 
Man is mortal. Mortal means we are subject to death and decay. Job 4.17 spoke about a mortal man. And 1 Corinthians 15, 53 and 54 tells us what would happen. 1 Corinthians 15, 53 and 54. It says, For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So, when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the same that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. And we thank God for that. I'm here for my friend Destiny. Destiny? Hey. Just want to ask you a couple of questions. You'll see all of Destiny. So, here we go. Destiny, why are you here at church? Oh, unfortunately, the Magana practice, but I came for practice. Okay, so you're at church because of practice? You know, Not only that, mm -hmm. like, the people here are really sweet, and the service ain't so bad. It's lovely. And I heard, um, um, I heard two special songs today. Okay, Kalea. wonderful. Alright, so if there's something that you had to change about... Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> if there's something you had to change about... The songs in church or anything, what would it be? I wouldn't really change much because sometimes they're, they're um, some of both bouncy, fun, slow and nice, melodious, all of those. Okay, well, say goodbye to my channel, Destiny. Say bye. Bye bye. Alright, thank you very much. That was Destiny here, such a wonderful young person from the Jackson Church. Okay, bye. I'll see you guys later. Hi to the channel. Hi. Welcome, say hi. Hi to hi, 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 hi family. Uh, enjoy church today. You want to look at it? Alright, if it's one thing that you had to change about church, what would it be? Anything, is it music? I got to go now. So bye everyone. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>